The Colorado Avalanche are the first team to advance to the Stanley Cup final. Gentlemen, our coverage here on the fourth period is brought to you by BitBuy. Go to bitbuy.ca slash TFP to receive up to $50 when you sign up for an account. Terms and conditions apply. This was a wild game, Dennis and David. 6-5 uh, final in overtime. I had a bunch of notes, made them, but you know what? The Colorado Avalanche, when it's all said and done, swept the Edmonton Oilers and are off to the Stanley Cup final. When they needed to make a play, they made a play. Down 4-2, you figure, okay, they're going to pack their bags, go back to Denver, play game five and win at home. But they just kept coming, kept coming. Arturi Lekkinen, he's the, I think, the first player since 1938 and 39 to have a season, uh, a, a series clinching overtime goal scored in consecutive seasons. But Avalanche, the better team, they just found a way tonight, Dave, again. They did. The Edmonton Oilers up by two goals twice, twice. in this game, up 3-1, up 4-2 and they couldn't close it out. They allowed the Colorado Avalanche to get back into the swing of things and get back in this game, and it was their offense that propelled them forward. The speed that they brought, they kind of went back to what was so successful for them in games two and yeah. three, yeah. and there was no quit. New York, no quit in New York. <laughs> no, quit in New York. no quit in Denver either, or Edmonton right now. But the uh, Colorado Avalanche utilizing their depth, utilizing their offense, and it was their key guys that well, got goals in this series. I mean, that's the biggest thing. You had Nathan McKinnon, you had Kale McCarr, you had Gabriel Landeskog. Every one of their big guns scored. I mean, you look at the Edmonton Oilers from their point of view as well. All their big guns at the score sheet. But when it was all said and done, Dennis, this Colorado Avalanche team is built to win top to bottom. They are. They're ready to win. They're ready to win the cup. But I will say this, an heroic performance by Leon Dreisaitl, mm -hmm. playing oh, yeah. in obvious pain on one leg, Four assists, got the assist on the game time goal by Zach Cassian of all people. <laughs> that sent us to overtime. But this is clearly the better team. They're now what I think 12 and two in the postseason. Um, they, who's ever either Tampa or Rangers, they're going to have a really tough opponent in the Cup final. That will start in Denver. They're seven and zero on the road in the playoffs. Yeah. yeah Colorado Avalanche have just utilized their experience and their star power to pull them forward. Darcy Kemper came in as the backup in this one. A good sign. you got to expect that he's going to be getting game one of the Stanley Cup final, which will begin either on June 15th or the 18th, depending on how long the East goes. But just you're, you're seeing this team, you're seeing this Avs team, and you're seeing the confidence and the momentum kind of build as the game's kind of progressed. You're right. This is going to be a tough opponent for whoever they end up facing next round. You know, it's funny. Uh, after the game, you know, the Clarence Campbell Bowl trophy was awarded to Gabriel Landeskog, and he was asked after the game, you know, touch it or whatever, and he said, Joe said do whatever you want, right? right? <laughs> so some guys wanted to say he didn't care, but you know what? It really is just good vibes around this Colorado Avalanche team, and I, I think that, you know, they're a team, like I just mentioned, David, that can really go the distance against anyone. Yeah, absolutely. You, you get some good mojo going. Yeah. You get some good juju. Everything is kind of rolling with this team. Uh, as I said, Kemper likely to be ready for the Stanley Rest Cup for final. Kadri as well. Right, exactly. You've got at least 12 days. Maybe, yeah. 10 days or whatever it is, or 8 days, 9 yeah. days, whatever it is. It's over a week. <laughs> Math. Yeah, yeah, always tough. Uh, but they got over a week to kind of mend. So he had his surgery. He's going to try to get better and get back into the swing of things. I believe from what we were told that he will play in the Stanley yep. Cup final. Depends when we'll obviously see. But, yeah, there's the, the confidence that this group has right now going in, going home back to Denver. It's, it's impressive to see. Well, the Colorado Avalanche, obviously, or the story, they're heading to the Western Conference Final, but let's not get lost on the Edmonton Oilers. I mean, they put up a brilliant effort. No one really had them picked to go this far. I know none of us did. So yeah, no. when you look at this team now, Dennis, very quickly, initial thoughts, where do they go from here? Well, they, look, if they weren't going to send the fans home for the summer with a win, yeah. they sent them with a memorable game. This 6-5 game was, shows the ability, their offensive ability, but they have to figure out the goaltending. Mike Smith is not the answer going forward. They have to do something there. They have to be better on defense. I know Darn Ellis is obviously playing hurt, but there are gaps there, and their depth, their just depth is not good enough. So they have superstar players that Ken Holland, Ken Holland still has to work on getting the right group of players around them next season. Gentlemen, thank you very much for this. Uh, what we don't know is the future of the Edmonton Oilers, but what we can tell you right now is the Colorado Avalanche are off to the Stanley Cup Final after sweeping the Edmonton Oilers four games to none.